Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are about to have a meeting here in the farm and I'm gonna bring you to my office. So guys, this is my office right here. Welcome to my office. Don't laugh, <laughs> this is my office right now. guys good morning i am here in our farm and we are doing today a walkthrough and this is going to be the walkthrough prior our bread cut and that cut we are not expecting to be that much those are the ones that just went first and we are expecting to cut about 20 to 25 we expecting i don't know that's what we are doing the walkthrough today that way we can see uh like how many will be ready even though we aren't gonna know for sure because the farm is very big but we're gonna try to see as many as we can and i'm gonna show you all that that way you can see it with me so just follow me And today I am very happy because last time that I was here, that we were here, it was about two weeks ago. And like, you know, we planted this platano by sections. So we did one part first and then the other part in the following month, I mean, when we planted. So last time we didn't see the grow on this. The funny part is that this is the first part that we planted, but we didn't see the progress on this side. And today we are seeing a lot of progress where we see a lot of angels um having their fruits they weren't they this will not be ready for the first car that we are gonna do because we are thinking of doing about 15 15 days uh but it's great that this is gonna be ready probably in about two more months i'm gonna keep showing you the beautiful bananas that we have and now this, now that we are doing the work through, this is some of the things that we are seeing they need to be fixed. Like this is wide open. And now that we are starting having our platanus ready, we don't want people from the outside of all the other part that they just passing by, getting cut our platano and then just keep walking like they own this farm. So we need to fix this thing right here with the wire they were up but they just for some reason they start uh falling down and we need to fix this we already fixed in the front part um uh, while we were working with the platano but now that we are almost just almost ready to be cut we need to fix this part right here like you see this one right here this one has been ready and they are not that big they are small, but they are already, you see, they are already uh, getting yellow. Like, if I don't take this with me today, uh, probably won't be worth it, but the next time we come to do the cut that we are thinking in about 15 days, that's what we're thinking. But depending on what we see today, we will gonna determine what they, we are gonna do the first cut. Uh, but this one is ready. This one is ready to eat. And this is the part right here that always gives us problems. This part right here, it needs to be like, next time that we do this, it have to be some type of treatment to this side because this is, like people say, it's a lot of rocks in here. It don't allow the growth of the, the platanos. You can see, you can see some spar trees and you can see how small they are. Way different to what we have back there and what we have on this side. So now we're gonna go to the side where the uh, peppers uh, were. That is, that is the side where most of the platano that are gonna be ready to cut on the first uh, try. The ones that are ready are on this side right here. Like this piece right here, it was just like the other, uh, where, the other one that I just showed you. It was on the ground 
and he just did that and fixed it. That's what we was trying to do with the entire farm. Wherever we see a piece of it, we're trying to put it up and fix it before all the platano is ready. Because as you can see, when that was done, we were just standing over there talking about that anybody can come from any side and just jump in and get one of those uh, uh, platano that are ready. I mean, you can cut it and just keep walking in, take it home for dinner. I mean, not like I'm mad for anybody just having a dinner with a platano, but I don't want nobody come in and take a whole bunch of platano, say like 15, 20 closer, and they, they make a business and and we nothing. We were the ones that do the investment, so we need to protect our investment. So that is what we do in our the platano already. So now we are in the area where, man, it's a lot of mosquito here because of the past rains and the storm. It's just so many of them. But we are in the area where the peppers were, which most of the platano are ready to cook. Like you can see right here, this one is ready. And then you can see over here, they're gonna start, start, start getting yellow too. Like that one over here to be ready. I'm gonna have to take that one home too and then just give it to my family members because they are turning yellow. Like that one is ready to cut. And that one right here too, they start getting yellow. Uh, we have to do that cut because they are getting wasted. We was waiting to, uh, until we have a lot of, uh, I mean, not a lot of them, but more ready to cut. But it looked like it seems like we're gonna have to cut whatever are ready and then let the other one uh, let the other ones come at the time that they are ready. This right here, they ready. Ready, ready. They ain't yellow yet, but they ready to eat. I mean to cut and eat and their sizes are nice. And this part right here is the end of the farm. We didn't work on this part, we didn't plant anything, it was empty, but we allowed someone that is working for us to plant some in here. And what he decided to plant was uh, yucca roots. And these right here are the yucca roots. And the process for the yucca roots are usually about eight months, they ready. So we allow him to do that because by the time that we finish with the platano, like we finish with all the platano that we planted, today, we don't have any more platano to sell. It will be the same thing about around eight months. So my dad allowed him to use this part and plant the yuca. He just planted this about what? About three, about three, three, four, three weeks to a month that he planted this. It, and they, it died already out. All right, guys, we already finished with the walkthrough. We see some partially platano, uh, how we call it, racimos. In English, it's clubster or bunches. So for what we saw when we did the walkthrough, we probably have about 25 to 30 bunches of cluster. Uh, we don't know exactly because we wouldn't, usually how they do the cut, they go line by line to see which one is ready, which one is not, they cut it. We didn't do that. We didn't do that through that, that way because it's a big farm. But from what we was able to see, that's what we think we're going to have. But let's see. I will let you know at the end when we do the cut. And then I'm also going to bring you with me when we do the cut. So I'm going to let you know right then and then how many cuts we have, how many bunches we had. And the, usually how you sell a platano in the market is by what we call a cargas. And cargas usually have 200 platanos in a carga. But that is when you have uh, like a truck of platinum to sell. If you just have a few bunches, like the one that we're going to cut, those you don't sell it that way. You usually bring somebody they sell uh, like to locals, like, like for household people they want to buy platinum too, to cook at home. So those people you bring it here with a small truck or they be selling on the street those platinum. So you bring them here. You send them the platano, you let them know that you're going to cut next day, you get to an agreement in prices, and then usually they come next day and you cut it and you sell it right there and there. You don't cut your platano and then find a seller. We usually find a, a buyer, I mean seller, no, buyer. You find a buyer, you show them the platano, you get to an agreement on prices, and then 
we come next day or the following two days and we do the cut and we do the business. How much I have if you sell it by club sir? Because when you cut a few oven like 20, 30 club sir, you don't sell them by cargas, you sell them by the whole club sir. How much is the club sir? I don't know right now at the moment, but I will find out before we do the business. And I also will let you know that information. So that is all what I have for right now. It's a lot of mosquito here. That is all what I have for right now. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also share, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.